Hey, in this video, we're going to go over a brand new product, socialhub.io, early access. They're in their first trial phase. And I'll be honest with you, I'm recording this after I already did the video. And I am more impressed with this product after doing the video than I was when I initially went to their web page. So stay tuned for this one. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. I've got an invitation to take a look at this product called Social Hub, socialhub.io. And it's really early, so I'm not going to be too critical of it depending on what I see. Um, you can see here they only have 100 seats available in their first trial phase. And I signed up and I got a, a link to set up an account. But essentially they're saying that they're going to be a easier way to publish and promote Facebook content. What what really interests me about this, because I mean, honestly, there's a there's a, there's a gazillion social media publishing um, applications out these days. You got you got to love entrepreneurs who who feel they can do it a little bit better and come up with something new. But what I do like about these guys is they're mentioning ads as well. So it sounds like they've hooked up with the Facebook Ads Manager and made that an easier process as well, which which could be very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the link that they sent me. They say I all I have to do is set up a password and get right into it and let's give this a try. And by the time you see this video that might be out of that trial stage, you could probably sign up as well. So okay, there we go. Let's set up my new password and see what these guys have set up so far. Alright, confirm. And great. Alright, and now it's gonna have me e log in again. Okay, that's fine. Put in my password I just set up and log in. Now I'm looking for a simpler type of uh, mode. Now I'm sure the first thing I have to do is connect and they want me to look at their video but I'm not going to do that but it does say add channels which is what I expected. Of course if you're going to publish something to Facebook you got to connect to your Facebook page. So let's do that as step one and see that process. Now to speed this up I actually proactively logged into my Facebook account in um, this browser so that should let me add a Facebook channel really quickly <clears throat> and what I notice here is it's more than Facebook so they're talking about Facebook on their web page but they, they've got uh, Twitter and YouTube Instagram so this is more comprehensive and full full featured like uh, you know your buffers and your hoots oh, I'm not gonna say it's like those but I'm just saying it has those channels uh, and I really like the YouTube because that's actually something that I don't see many products having uh, even Instagram is something that's difficult and, and WordPress that's a little different that's more of a blog so you can do more than just content to Facebook so that's different right away uh, let's scroll down and see that they're talking about API's I don't have that yet let's go ahead and add our Facebook channel alright so um, that's fine let's connect and face Firefox may be preventing it so I'm gonna allow that pop up there we go see that so you gotta pay attention to those little warnings there and because I am logged in already it's a pretty seamless process it's gonna take me and allow me I'm gonna give them the permissions that they are requesting I won't get in and start mucking with stuff for this video but I normally would dig into that just a little bit more and see exactly what what they are trying to do on my Facebook account um, now I hit OK taking a little bit longer than I would expect here but that could be because of that pop-up issue I had with Firefox. So I'm going to give this a second and I'm going to close some stuff and, and and redo that now that I've allowed all of the pop-ups. That I love Firefox. It's very fast. I don't use it as my primary browser, um, but they, they do protect you in ways that sometimes hurt you. So let's go ahead and try this again. I'm going to add channel, connect with Firefox, and let's go through and just hit that OK button one more time once this loads up. Yeah. I've got it in a weird, let's try again. Firefox and is, is doing all kind of things to me. Okay, let's dismiss this. I'm going to refresh. I'll show you some tech smart boss troubleshooting here. And um, let's try that one more time. So I might even have to clear out some cookies if things are not working the way I would expect. And you'll notice here that I'm not getting the, I don't think this has anything to do with their product. I think this is more to do with Firefox and just caching of, of things like that. So we're getting an error. Uh, let's see. What do I want to try here? 
I'm going to go ahead and just clear all those cookies and try this from scratch. And I'll, again, troubleshooting is always useful to see in the video as well. So uh, I'll show you some troubleshooting here. Now I'm going to refresh my, my uh, yeah, see it wants me to log in again, which is what I would expect. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video for a second and log back into my, well, actually, I'm not going to log in here. I'm going to do it the, the way you would expect, which would be to click and then log in in that little dial up that they um, that they're gonna pop up so let me log back in to social hub put in that password that'll take me back to where I can start loading in some channels and this time because I do have Firefox accepting all the pop-ups and things like that and, you know Firefox actually has this little Facebook um, they put Facebook in a fence uh, uh, so it might be that I'm having issues because it's Facebook on Firefox, but let's, let's go through that process again and see what's going to happen. Okay. This time it is asking me correctly. So I'm going to pause this and log in here. Don't want you to see my Facebook stuff or even try to guess it. So stay tuned. All right. So now it is, you can see I've got two factor authentication on my Facebook. So I am showing you that. So you don't get any ideas about trying to hack on my Facebook. You know, I talk about two-factor a lot because on your things like social media and payroll and email and things like that, I'm a big believer in two-factor authentication. So I've got that turned on and you'll see I popped up my code generator and got that code for that and it let me go ahead and log in. And I'm still getting that same thing. Now, watch this. You see this little... I think this is that Firefox Facebook fencing security that I was talking about. Let's click on that. No, nope, that's not it either. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch over to Chrome, and we're going to get Firefox out of the equation here. So let's do it that way. Hold on one second. Okay, so now I'm over in Chrome, and I bet you this is going to work now. As I was saying, Firefox and Facebook they they have some issues they don't work well together so if you get anything from this video that's instructive it's going to be don't uh, use Firefox when you're trying to connect up Facebook accounts there is a setting in Firefox about that fence that I was mentioning I have it turned on by default I could probably go turn that off and do it in Firefox but I don't want to I'm just gonna switch over to Chrome I'm in my incognito Chrome at the moment and now let's reproduce these steps and see what's going to happen. So I'm going to connect with Facebook. Got the same thing. And guess what? I'm going to pause again because it's going to go through the same process of having me put in the password. Stay tuned. All right. So now notice that that pop up went away and it says they are connecting to Facebook. Please wait while we receive data from Facebook. So I, I've gotten a little bit further. I'm actually going to just confirm that. I am completely authenticated with Facebook and then I'll be right back and that was it so I had I got a lot of hey guys I can't help you but to say I've got a lot of security on my Facebook stuff so I'm not getting hacked and you'll see now it just brought back all of my Facebook pages um, I'm gonna blur out everything but this tech smart boss one that you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and add that so that was nothing wrong with the product itself. That's just my uh, security, and that's part of the chat. That's why so many people don't do really good security, because it can become an inconvenience when you try to do new things. And if you don't know how to troubleshoot and work around that, you can really up, get hot at a product thinking it's the product's fault. All right, so now we are connected with Social Hub, and right away I can see that. I got a calendar here and it's bringing in all my posts and I can kind of see by these numbers this probably relates to the number of posts that I do on my Facebook account each day and I try to do you know no more than about five or six and you'll see that's where I am between three and um, three and six let's click on for example Wednesday the sixth. what did I put out on Facebook and it's gonna give me a nice little preview of that so I've got a couple of curated content pieces that I put out as well as a, one on my own blog. And you know, that's one of our social media strategies is about, you know, you, uh, about uh, 
a third of, of, of curated content, about a third of your own content, and, uh, you know, about a third promotions, put, putting them to some of your call of actions that you want to do. Let's take a look at Thursday. I had six posts. What did I do? So I've got some curated content. I got to throw. Okay, so this is Throwback Thursday. So we do a little bit extra on Throwback because we show you some old newsletters. We show you some old um, podcasts and, you know, a couple content curated pieces so go check out our facebook page you might you might find it pretty useful now let's go ahead and take a look at this product so you've got their publisher that's the main thing here and this is where you start to as they say the simplest way to make posts on facebook um then you've got your content this is where you can look at everything that you've published not in that calendar view as well as your drafts your schedule so you've got that you've got some analytics so that's nice so that's pretty good so, I mean, this is this is looking, and they got their roadmap here. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's take a look under accounts and see where we got. This is where we can go back and add more accounts. Um, like we use the left panel here. You can invite others on your team. What's this features here? All right, so these are things that you can turn on um, to make this even more powerful. Approval process, smart rules, okay, interesting categories, tagging, templates. So... I mean, they say this is simple, but honestly, this is actually looking pretty robust. This is looking like a, you know, when I, I've said earlier, Hootsuite and and Social B and 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 Buffer and and those types of tools, you you've got a pretty comprehensive. They've got a pretty robust set of features here that that we could dig into. Now, what's privacy? Um, uh, okay, something to do with GDPR. If that's important to you, and then personal. You could do some customization just for how you want to look at things and receive things. So that's pretty interesting. Now let's look at the Facebook ads. Do I have to, yeah, I do have to add my ad account. I, I might come back and do that, but let's not worry about that now. And then link shortener. Very nice. What do they offer? Nah, just the basics here, bit.ly. Um, so that might be something I would say they could expand to, you know, we use Pixel Me. And I really like Pixel Me, and, and, and I have a Bitly account, and I've got a YouTube video on how to set that up. So that's also a great choice, too. Uh, but there's other options you can do there as well. All right, let's get back, and let's do a post. Um, we'll do one from scratch. Let's only have a Facebook account. Let's select our Facebook account. Okay, so this is just, this would toggle between your accounts if you have multiple, which is nice. I'm just going to do Facebook, and let's create some content. And let's see this easy process that they're talking about. So I've got, okay, that's interesting there that you could do now. I like that. Normally you just do status. This allows you to add multiple images and take advantage of more of the power of Facebook. I've never actually even done that on Facebook, probably because it's not really intuitive when you use the platform itself or other tools. So they are, in fact, making something simpler. I like that. Uh, I'll just do a quick post. Let's put a little emoji. Make sure that they got the emoji support. Okay. And they press. I'll uh, let you read it as I type it versus type reading it as I go. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube. And I'll put a, well, I actually see, well, let's, let's continue to type it just like I would and see, okay, it's turning that into a, a URL and let's see what happens. All right. It, it, it rendered it. Now it brought in the default, uh, icon off of our YouTube channel. I could, I'm sure change that. I got, if I want to, if I created any content text, I could tag this, but it's giving me a nice preview, showing me a mobile preview. And uh, that was, that, that's pretty straightforward. Now let's go through their process here. Uh, timing. I could schedule it, of course. Now I don't see that they have evergreen. Well, I, I take that back. Um, well, not necessarily evergreen, but I can do maybe multiple uh post of this so I do see add another post there uh, I did not hook up my business account so I can't get into promotion that's actually what I want to take a deeper look at but I think that's uh, uh, well everything I've shown you has been a pretty good value add with social hub but that promotion the ability to go in and boost this post or turn this into an ad I think that's gonna be a really big value proposition for them 
let's take a look at um, targeting. And this is, uh, honestly, I never dig into this in Facebook. I know that they allow you to do this sort of stuff. Um, this is newsfeed targeting, so this is not even tied to the ads. Uh, so this this is making it a lot easier because I've actually never even dug into that, but this, this exposes it in a very nice way. And, of course, if you did need to get that approval things, you could do that. Now, let's go ahead and publish it. Boom. All right, it's queued for publishing, and I'll give that just a second. Well, um, I'll take a look. I'm going to go back over to my TechSmart boss feed over here. It looks like it logged me out, but if I refresh this, I should be able to see that post on my public page. Oh, it logged me back in. There we go. Let's take a look if it actually did publish that. Now I don't want you to give me notifications. There it is. There it is. You see here, published by Social Hub just now. And uh, everything that it showed me in the preview, that's what it did. That, that, was, that was pretty simple. I can't complain about that at all. Before we end this video, let's take a look at this roadmap. Trello. They're using Trello. I, I'm not a huge fan of Trello, but it's, it's there. But, uh, oh, wow, LinkedIn. I like that. Um, well, that's done. So they already have LinkedIn. We saw that. Duh. Uh, well, what's next? Uh, a media library. Okay, that that's nice. Um, they could probably hook up with the assets section of Facebook, but that probably wouldn't be simple. So if they build their own media library, it'd probably be a little bit more simple. And then that approval process that we talked about. Um, so not a lot on their roadmap that's public at least. Uh, but I am more impressed um, looking, you know, at the software and the features they have than I may have been heading into this video because I thought it was going to be a little bit more basic. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. If you take a look at it yourself, set up an account, give it a try. If you like these kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and also our Facebook page, and stay tuned for the next video. Talk to you soon.